So a lot of you, my students, have been reaching out to me, getting all worried. Um, for those of you who still use VPN strategies and IP addresses and whatnot, um, you've been worried about Google's recent policy regarding AdSense. And uh, if you're a publisher, you probably received this particular message. Um, Google have amended their language to allow IP addresses to be used for the purpose of fraud detection. Now, you shouldn't be worried because it's not something that is so um, serious as you might have it. A lot of people who are practicing loading by themselves are sort of worried. Now, let me take the time to explain what that means. First things first, if you're my student, you should not be worried because part of the things that I have evolved to practice now is to stay one step ahead and we no longer use VPNs and all that anymore. We have upgraded and if you're a student who you are part of the RP course, you should understand that we have evolved past this. So previously, Google doesn't allow publishers to track their IP addresses, right? If you notice, if you check on your Google Analytics, you don't have the space there to check IP addresses, the kinds of tra traffic that is visiting your website, you have zero control over that. So there are some times where your AdSense account could be banned for reasons that you do not have any idea of. So for instance, you could get flagged that invalid traffic. And at that time, you might not even be doing the loading thing. You might just have the account seated there and Google flagged you for that reason. Now, I think a lot of the publishers have been complaining over the fact that because we do not have access, we do not know how to control the kinds of traffic that is coming to our website. We might be able to try, but we do not have the power to do so because we don't even know who is visiting our website. We don't have the most intrinsic details about the visitors who visit our website, which is the IP addresses of the users, obviously. And publishers have been having this back and forth with Google. Because Google always tells you that you, you are responsible for your traffic. You should know the source of your traffic and what they are doing on your website. So it's your responsibility to know how. And the publishers are like, myself included, because I've laid thousands of complaints to Google on this particular issues. We do not have an idea on who is visiting our website. We just need to know who and who and who causing our AdSense account to be banned so that we can take necessary actions by blocking them using um, third-party um, applications to get rid of certain IP addresses. And to Google's part, they felt as though one of the reasons as to why they cannot be releasing the visitor's IP addresses is simply because it felt like a violation of a visitor's privacy, right? However, going forward, Google will be allowing publishers to do so and allow them to use IP tracking to protect their website and advertisement. So instead of you thinking about it in the negative light, I think it's more of the positive light. You get to know what IP addresses are visiting your website. You get to have a um, detailed idea of who to block and who not to block to avoid your AdSense account getting banned or your YouTube partnership account getting banned. So it's more of a good thing. And if you're part of my RPA class, you shouldn't be worried about this. And that's the more reason why you need to be a part of our class. We trust when it's possible to stay one step ahead of Google, giving us the edge, giving us the advantage. And we share ideas, we stay one step ahead, we share um, opinions, we share information, we share data with ourselves. So it's very necessary for you to be a part of it. So I hope with my, you know, explanation, you see this more in the positive and not in the negative. And if you found value from this content, click on the like, subscribe, drop a comment. I would love to chat with you and see you in the next one.